Hello and good morning, everyone. Um, thank you very much for joining in today. My name is Mehul, and I'll be presenting the webinar How to Track MySQL Configuration Changes Using SQL Diagnostic Manager for MySQL. During the course of the webinar, if you guys have any questions, you can drop them in the chat and we'll get back to you. I'll get back to you with the answers after the webinar. Now, the topic for today is how to track MySQL configuration changes that can be done using SQL Diagnostic Manager for MySQL. I will quickly go through a general overview of the solution as well, and subsequently we will arrive at that particular feature that would not only allow, allow you to track MySQL configurations, but you would be able to see how to do it and how easy it is to track these changes so that it, it would save a ton. It would save tons of time for you on a daily basis. Now, let me start by giving you a quick introduction about our solution. SQL Diagnostic Manager for MySQL is an agentless on-premise MySQL and MariaDB monitoring solution that gets up and running within a few minutes. It works with all the flavors of MySQL, such as MariaDB and Percona, and its agentless architecture makes it a cloud ready solution as well. So you can even monitor your servers that are hosted in the cloud, such as Amazon AWS or Google Cloud. Now, the moment you launch SQL Diagnostic Manager for MySQL, it takes you to the overview page, which you can see here. Now, the overview page gives you a full capture performance visibility across the databases. You get to see the total number of servers you have registered with the tool in case any of these servers are down. What are the critical alerts and warnings associated with each of these servers? And not only that, you also get to see the top 10 running queries based on the total execution time. You can even click on a particular query to see the relevant query details. And you can quickly dive into these critical alerts and warnings right from the overview page. Now, if you if you even if you click even further on what a particular critical alert could be. Not only the tool would tell you the details about it as to why this critical alert was thrown at you, what was the threshold value, if, if the threshold value was crossed or not. And most importantly, the tool also gives you an advice as the form of what needs to be done or what might have happened that caused this particular alert. So you can even follow these advices to make sure that these alerts do not happen again in the future. So the overview page basically allows you to avoid visibility gaps and helps you achieve faster resolution time because it gives you a bird's eye view of your MySQL environment. Moving forward, we have the server space. Now this basically lists down the total number of servers you have registered with the tool. These are color coded as well. So a red color on a particular server would indicate there that there are some critical events associated with a particular server. And a yellow color would indicate that there are some warning events associated with a particular server. Now, if you see the color green on your servers, then that would mean that your servers are stable and are performing as they should be. And you can simply dive into these alerts by clicking on the service page. And you can, like, like I just showed you guys before, what you can figure out what these alerts are and what advice you need to follow in order to make sure that these alerts do not happen, happen again in the future. Moving forward, we have the dashboard feature. Now, this is one of the most loved features of the tool because it has all the charts that indicate the health of your MySQL environment. Any spike in these charts could be a good indicator of bad performance. You can look into these spikes and see the corresponding queries that ran during, during the selected time frame. You can even click on a particular query to see the relevant query details, such as the first scene, last scene, if whether or not the query did a full table scan or not, if there were any poor indexes that were used during the operation and things like that. And not only that, the tool helps you even further. <clears throat> If you click on a particular query, not only you would see the query details, but we have something called the query explain plan as well, which basically is the tool's advice to you in the form of an optimized query. So this is the query that ran uh, that causes spike in, my, in your MySQL environment. 
And if you just click on query explain plan, you would be able to see the optimized query as well. Uh, that the tool would be providing you so that you can use this particular optimized query to ensure that these spikes do not happen again in the future for you. Now this does not end here. What I'm excited to show you guys here is the capability for you to roll out your own custom dashboards. All you need to do is click on create new dashboard. Give it a name. Enable the parameters that you would like to see or charts that you would like to see in a particular dashboard and click on save. Once you do that, you'll be able to roll out your own custom dashboards that would have all the charts that you feel suits your MySQL environment. Now, the reason why we allow our users this flexibility is because we believe that one size does not fit all. And a lot of our users, they would like to do a lot of charting and trending for a lot of MySQL matrices. So all that flexibility is with you. You can roll out your own custom dashboards. If you're someone who'd like to see every single detail of your servers, you all you need to do is enable all these parameters up until the bottom and click on save. Moving forward, we have the monitors page. Now, SQL Diagnostic Manager for MySQL gets shipped with more than 600 plus best practices monitors and advisors, which constantly and proactively monitors the health of your MySQL environment and provides you with timely alerts and advices before things go wrong. Now, these are color coded as well. So a green color would indicate that the monitor groups are stable. A yellow color would indicate that there are some warning events, events associated with the particular monitor group and a red color would indicate that there are some critical events associated with the particular server. Now, there are two interesting things to note about these monitor groups. Firstly, these monitor groups are not just simple plugins. <clears throat> we are business partners with MariaDB and we work with a lot of DBAs who deploy our solution in the field. And all these monitor groups have been assembled over a good part of a decade and we constantly update and upgrade these monitors so that it can <clears throat> so that the tool can do proactive monitoring for you <clears throat> now that is one interesting part about the monitor group the second interesting part is if we just hover over to a particular monitor it will tell you what it basically does so for example we have a monitor here called available which tells us whether the tool is able to connect to mysql or not so in the event the tool is not able to connect with mysql you will immediately get an email alert prompting you to take some action so that the monitor group becomes stable again and mo the monitoring uh, keeps on going now if the under the second interesting part is the, that the underlying code or the logic behind each of these 600 plus monitors are not hidden from you if you just click on a particular monitor groups you would be able to see the underlying code or the value the function that is running that particular monitor group and because the underlying code is not hidden from you, you can customize these monitors to your heart's content. If you are someone who would like to, who would like for a monitor to behave a certain way that you feel suits your MySQL environment, all you need to do is update the function here, go to alerts, set the alert condition, set the critical and warning threshold over here and enable notifications. Once you do that, every time for a particular monitor group, the alert condition is crossed if, whether uh, whether it is a warning threshold or the critical threshold whenever that is crossed you will immediately be alerted so that you will be aware of uh, anything going wrong before it goes wrong so like i said these are very, this is a very powerful feature that the tool does has which does proactive monitoring for you and it provides you with timely alerts and devices before things go wrong Moving forward, we have the real-time monitoring feature. Now, real-time monitoring is something you need when you're trying to figure out what's happening in your MySQL environment in real time. So I'll give you an example. Suppose if you have been getting a lot of alerts between 2 a.m. and 3 a.m. every single day, and you want to figure out what's happening uh, with your MySQL servers during that time frame. In such a case, all you need to do is start a real-time monitoring session. 
I'll just try to load a safe session for you to show how the information layout looks like. Just give me a moment here. We seem to be having some issues here, but still let me go through what this feature is and let me try to help you understand what it basically does. So real time continuously executes a bunch of queries and is on your servers and fetches all the information and matrices such as you get to see the total number of queries that ran during the selected time frame in case what were your most previous tables databases. What were the slow query logs locked if there were any locked queries log tables and things like that. Now, since all of this information is retrieved in real time, you get to see what your servers are up to at any point of time. And another example where you could use the real time monitoring feature is suppose if you want to figure out how a particular query would scale in the production environment. So all you need to do is set up a staging server, run some queries and operations on it, and use the real time monitoring features to detail all the details that would help you understand how a particular query or operation would scale in the production environment. So real time feature is very beneficial because sometimes you need to have high fidelity monitoring in place for a specific specific debugging exercise. Moving forward, we have the query analyzer feature. Now this is one of the most powerful features of the tool because it lets you capture queries using multiple endpoints. You can either analyze the general query log, the slow query log, or we have developed something unique that we like to call as the sniffer. Now, the general query log and slow query logs are something that MySQL itself provides. What we have developed as an on-demand feature is the sniffer feature. You can use the sniffer feature if you would like to do non-obtrusive query analysis. I'll get into what I mean by that particular term. But the sniffer feature basically works with two different modes. Let us first see what these modes are. So if you just click on these three dots on a particular server, click on edit server and under advanced, you'll see the option sniffer. So as you can see here, there is a sniffing mode that we have selected for our master, our master server. And we have kept the mode as performance schema mode. So we'll be discussing today the performance schema and the process list mode, and I'll show you what the advantages for that are. So let us go back and see how the information layout looks like. So as you can see here, you, you would be able to see the top five running queries based on the total execution time. And you'd also be able to see all the queries that ran during the selected time frame. You also have the option to go back in time, set custom time ranges. If you're someone who's trying to figure out whether the problematic queries is sporadic or acute, all that flexibility is with you again. Now, I talked about non obtrusive query analysis. What I meant by that is if you're someone who's trying to look for every single detail of a particular query, 
or if you are someone who's trying to capture even the short lived queries that take less than one seconds to execute if you are someone who's trying to do that you should use this sniffer feature under the performance schema mode all you need to do is to when it comes to looking for the minute details of a particular query is just click here on show height columns enable the parameters that you would like to see for a particular query or the details such as whether or not the query did a full table scan or not if there were any poor indexes used if there was any lock times and things like that if you are someone and if you are someone who's trying to look for every single detail only you need to do is enable all these parameters and click on apply once you do that these rows would start to populate and and you would be able to see every single detail of a particular query so this is the advantage of using the sniffer mode under performance schema because it lets you do non obtrusive query analysis allowing you to figure out every single detail of a particular query now the other mode that the sniffer works with is called the processless mode now we have already configured this particular server under the processless mode let, let us see how the information layout looks like so as you can see here the right from the overview is pretty much looks the same you get to see the top five running queries based on the total execution time you also get to see all the queries that ran during the select time frame however if you try to look for relevant query details the minute details you will see that there are very limited details available for a particular query so one might wonder or one might have this question that what is the advantage for me to use the sniffer feature under processless if i'm not able to see the, the minute details of a query that i could with the performance schema so i'll show you what the advantage is so let us go back to edit server and under the sniffer feature you see we have already configured the server under the process mode so the advantage of using sniffer under the processless mode is the capability of the tool to do to monitor long running queries for you which is scroll down a little further you will see there is an option called monitor long running queries all you need to do is enable this particular uh, option set the long running query threshold value for example if you have set a threshold value for 10 seconds so every time if a query is taking more than 10 seconds to execute not only the tool would be able to track and capture these queries for you but it goes a step further the tool can not only capture these queries for you but it can also take actions on your behalf if you just scroll down a little further you will be able to see the actions that the tool can take on your behalf the tool can either notify you via all these notification channels emails it can write to syslog slack as an mp traps or it can straight away kill that particular query if you are someone who like to have both the options available you can select notify and kill so every time the threshold value is crossed for a particular query the tool would not only notify you about that particular query but it would also kill that query for you so that you do not do not have to manually intervene for every single query that is taking more than the threshold values to execute so this is the advantage of using the sniffer feature in the processes mode so like i said this is one of the query analyzer feature is the most powerful feature of the tool because it easily helps you uncover problematic queries allowing you to spend more time on the queries that yields the highest value rather than shooting in the dark and wait for the performance to go or be low moving forward we have the server configuration feature now this is the feature that allows you to track mysql configuration changes to help you understand let me give an example firstly this is one of the most loved features of the tool because it gives you the option to track and sub compare server configuration and this is pretty unique to the tool and no other current monitoring solution in the market currently provides this capability to help you understand let me give you an example suppose if you have two servers server a and server b they both have the same setup they are both similarly configured and are sharing the same load but one of them has performance problems so the underlying cause for that performance problem could be a change in server configuration using sql diagnostic manager for mysql you can see a side by side comparison of uh, your server configurations so if you just 
right now we are at the overview of the server configuration fields and we, as you can see here this just lists down the all the server configurations that are present however if i had to look for each and every configurations manually it would take or kill a lot of time on a daily basis just to figure out what particular configuration was changed so in order for you to save a lot of time on a daily basis you can just see the values that were changed using a single click of a button all you need to do, do is click on show only changed values once you do that you would be able to see only the values that were changed so you will be easily able to track what changes were made and at what time allowing you to make sure that these configurations are reset to what their default value is allowing both of your servers that assembly configured to be stable and to perform as they should be so like i said it would save a lot of time on a daily basis for you because it is as easy as a single click of a button to track and compare the server configuration changes moving forward we have the replication overview page now this basically allows you to view the replication hierarchy of your mysql servers along with the details of each of the replicated servers to make sure that the data is up and running at all times. You can directly click on a particular uh, server to see its status, or you can toggle between these two modes to see the relevant details, which would basically tell you if there is any lag between the master or slave servers, if the slaves have stopped altogether, or the, the master and slave servers are disconnected. Similarly, these are color coded again. So a red, green color would indicate that your servers are stable. A yellow color would indicate that your servers are not in sync. And a red color would indicate that the servers are not connected. So since this is a demo instance, we just have a simple master and slave setup over here. However, the tool is also capable of supporting multi-master and multi-source replication. So this brings me to the end of the session. In the end, I would like to conclude by saying, if you are someone who's on the lookout for a complete MySQL server monitoring solution that covers all the phases of monitoring, be it proactive monitoring that can be achieved using the monitor groups, which constantly proactively monitors the health of your environment and provides you with alerts and advices before things go wrong. Or if you're someone who like to see what your servers are up to in real time, you can use the real-time monitoring feature for that. Or if you're someone who would like to do a reactive exercise, who would like to go back in time and see how a particular query is performing, if the query's problem, if the problematic query is acute or sporadic. If you're someone who would like to do that as well, you can use the query analyzer feature for that. So if you're someone who's on the lookout for a complete monitoring solution that covers all the phases of monitoring, proactive, reactive, and real time, you should definitely give SQL Diagnostic Manager for MySQL a try. Uh, we offer a free 14 day trial that can be downloaded from our website, webbyup.com. Just click on start free trial and we offer a free 14 day trial and we offer free technical support during the period, trial period. Uh, if you'd like to have a personalized demo customized to your MySQL environment, we can, we can do that for you as well. And uh, you can just, all you need to do is reach out to sales at idera.com and my team and I would be happy to assist you. So this brings me to the end of the session. If you guys have any questions, please drop them in the chat and I'll be happy to answer them. I have a question which is yes just uh, just to answer you yes a recording would be shared with you after the webinar uh, shortly so you can view this uh, as well or you can simply go to idera.com and to our resource center where you would be able to find out every single detail about this tool just go to resource center over here
and you would be able to see every single detail of our tool right from the resource center as well. Uh, once again, thank you very much for joining in today and you guys have a good day.